Hello guys, this is Pranjal here. Today we will uh, solve in more questions. So this is question number one. Question number one. Solve the equations. X plus Y plus Z is equal to 14. Let us assume this is equation number one. Next, x square plus y square plus z square equals to 91. Let's, let us assume this is equal to number 2. And lastly, or y square is equal to z equation number 3. Okay. So what we will do here, we will set the obvious and we will plug in 3 into 2. y square into this. We will get x square plus z square plus zx is equal to 91. Let us assume this is 4. Also, if we hold root equation number 3, we will get y is equal to root zx. Let us assume this is equation number 5. If we put equation number 5 into equation number 1, we will get x plus root zx plus z is equal to 14. So, we will use this identity. a cube minus b cube is equal to a square, a square plus b square plus ab into a minus b. So, here, can you see a similarity in this and this? I'll tell you. X is equal to A and Z is equal to B. What If you put what we will get? X square plus B, uh, Z square plus ZX. Is it the same? Yes, no. So, if we multiply uh, this equation by X minus Z into, what is this value? 91. We will get X cube minus Z cube. Alright guys, this is equation number, uh, let me just remember this is 6, this is 7, okay, this is equation number 7. Similarly, if we uh, put this uh, value of, uh, if we put the value of A as root X and B is as root Z, we will get same. So, we will multiply root X minus root Z into 14 is equal to root x whole cube minus root z whole cube. This is the actual breakthrough of the question. So, now uh, this is equation number 8. Okay, we have this equation. And now let us bring the other equation. Now guys, let us assume for ease of solving, x z is equal to p and root z is equal to q. Okay guys. So, we will get p cube minus q cube is equal to p minus q into 40. Also, we will get p6 minus q6 is equal to p square minus q square into 91. Okay, by putting values. So, now if we divide this equation by this equation, what we will get? a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b, a plus b, this is an identity. So, if we put, uh, so we will see, if we divide, by dividing, we will get p cube plus q cube is equal to p plus q, 91 upon 14. Here also, we will use an identity that a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b, a squared plus b squared plus 2ab plus ab or minus ab sorry bear with me for these little inconveniences in my handwriting so here we can see if we put this to the other side we will get p squared plus q squared plus minus pq is equal to uh, 91 upon 14 by common by taking common we will get 13 by 2 we will get this now, if you remember, we had got in this, this equation, not this one, sorry, uh, let me tell you which one, this one, if we put values of p and q, what we will get, p squared plus p q plus uh, q squared is equal to 14, so we have this also, now if we minus these two equations, what we will get, 2 p q, is equal to 14 minus 13 by 2 uh, 15 by 2 taking this this side we will get p q is equal to 15 by 4 now what is p q p q is actually root x z equal to 15 by 4 now 
since y is we uh, root z z we found out that y is equal to 15 by 4 hey guys so okay. here we get y is equal to 15 by 2 so in the first equation that we got we can uh, replace y and we can minus it so we will get 13 by uh, we will get uh, 4 minus 50 uh, 14 it was 4 right let me just check it is 14 okay 14 minus 15 by 4 is equal to x plus z okay similar or we can also see that x plus plus z square is equal to uh, minusing uh, y square which we know 225.14 minus 91 we get this uh, x square plus z square is equal to uh, 91 minus y, uh, y square which is 225 upon uh, 225 upon 4 so x squared plus z squared is equal to 91 minus 225 by 4 and uh, we will if you minus 2x z from here to get x minus z whole squared we will get uh, minus uh, if we say uh, again 225 by 4 which is uh, since zx is actually y squared uh, y squared yep uh, zx is actually y squared so uh, we will multiply this by um, three times so we'll get this as uh, and some value for x minus z some value for x plus z we will add dono and we'll get 2x for some value we will divide and get x and we will do, and we can put in the value and get z that's it thank you guys bye